new exhibit at the Prince George's African American Museum and Cultural Center, a space of their own, takes a look at the life and legacy left behind by brave African American men and women who helped create the county we know today. Well, Dr. Jacqueline Brown is the executive director there and is going to give us a sneak peek at what we can expect when we go to the exhibit. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. It's great to see you yes. again, Dr. Brown. Mm -hmm. You know, let's start off by talking about the upcoming exhibit. I guess it starts on Saturday. It starts on Saturday. It is the most ambitious exhibit that we've done, but it is part of our mission to bring the stories. Um, we call them the his stories and the her stories okay. that nobody ever talks about regarding African American contribution to the building and shaping of Prince George's County. And we figured what better way to do it than to lift up and honor the four original incorporated African American townships. Many people are not aware that there were townships that were actually incorporated as black townships for black people. You're right, because right. I didn't know about that either until right. you uh, we were and talking about that. And it's that fabulous. Yeah. Beautiful. And you say it's the most aggressive one that you've done so far. Yes. Why? Uh, because from an exhibit space, we have a gallery called Gallery 110, which is where the exhibits are run for uh, the uh, museum. And um, the space is only 1,400 square feet. So what we do is we create an image and an atmosphere every time an exhibit comes on. It's almost like being in theater. And the theater goes dark until the next scene is set. And so for this one, we've had to recreate an iconic exhibit for the four separate towns in that wow. space, along with the text that shows the history that you need to have. So, and we have some original artifacts. It is, it is wonderful, yes. Now all of this, this exhibit and everything else that you're doing is mm -hmm. pretty much laying the groundwork for the upcoming museum that you're, you're gonna have. Yes. And that is going to be the, what is the name of your Prince, Prince George's, George's African American, American Museum and Cultural Center. Right. Tell us about your aspirations for uh, that. The aspirations are to be able to do, we have a, actually an award-winning uh, design uh, for the museum, $25 million uh, design, designed by R.L. Ron Lipford, architects from Prince George's County, uh, in partnership with Bernard Tushimi out of uh, New York and Paris. And it is an amazing, an amazing, um, building, 50,000 square feet, and what we want to do, it's in the heart of the Gateway Arts District for okay. Prince George's County. It will be in North Brentwood, which is that part of the Gateway Arts District that happens to be right there at this oldest historical it's town, perfect. and it's perfect. So we're looking forward to breaking the ground for that in 2015, okay. and we will be getting to people sometime this year about what we can do about capital campaign work. Okay. Well, yes. Know, I guess for starters, people can help out by coming and supporting yes. this exhibit. Yes, right now we are, our membership is building up beautifully, so we have memberships. Uh, we have people who have been so generous with donations and contributions and sponsorships. And because we have public programs that support our exhibit and we take the museum out to the communities and to the schools, and we also have the educational programs that are actually have been award winning. And um, it's been amazing. That's it's actually been good. amazing. Now, as you've said, this is definitely not the first exhibit that you've had. Right. Tell us about some of the things that you've shown in the past. All right. Our first one was the Uhuru quilters, and that was a whole understanding of where quilting comes from wow. and how they do it and what the meaning is with the quilts. Amazing works of art and family heritage. The next one was Roy Lewis Everywhere, and he is a prominent African American photographer, and he is well known. For he his is photography. Every, I know Roy very yes, well. Yes, and every that important event ran there. so well and was wow. highly favored. Then we had Vintage Visions, and that was taking the African American filmmakers from Oscar Micheaux on up, wow. and people could come and watch stormy weather right there in the gallery. We used to say it's a cheap date, and people <laughs> could come, and it was wonderful. And then we had Resonant Forms with three major artists who work with bamboo, with vinyl. Uh, Vinyl and denim, and with um, uh, mobiles. Okay. It was amazing, and that was a shared 
um, uh, exhibit with our neighbor across the hall, the Gateway Arts Center. Okay, and yes. now a space of their a space own. space of their own. This, it sounds like it's very exciting. It is exciting. And I wish you so much success yes. starting this Saturday. So everyone make sure that you check it yes. out. Yes, yes, we want so everyone to come. Dr. Yes. Brown, all the best to you. Great right. to see you. Thank you so much. Natasha and Melanie are back with more Let's Talk Live in just two minutes. So stay right here on the late.